All right, good. Welcome, everybody, to the POV Podcast, and I'm not alone. Thank God. So, um, as you see on the screen, we're we here with Erwin. Ir- that's his name? Yep, yep, that's right. Yeah. He's the, you're the boss or the commissioner of this, or just the whatever title. Well, yeah, I, I'm the cr- creator, I suppose, of uh, New Extremes. What makes you want to do um, New Extremes instead of like a typical fed? Well, New Extremes kind of, when, when I first started it, it was what I wanted a federation to be, what I would like to see from a real world fed. Try and get it going that way, and it's kind of changed as my love of wrestling has changed in different aspects. When you say your, your wrestling changed, you mean like your taste of different types of wrestling? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I still love the extreme wrestling. There, there's still parts of me, but the the, the more storyline things and looking back at real old stuff. I mean, Jim Cornette's a a wealth of experience for that kind of thing. Like just all why things happen in the ring, why there are disqualifications for certain things, and how that can add to a storyline. So, well, what I'm getting at is that like you want it to be different. Yeah. And you chose extreme because, damn, I'm trying to remember. Because cause when I first saw your Fed, I was like, this is actually pretty different. Basically, then, the, like most of the other Feds, their shows be like freaking, like, boring. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, there's no other way to put it because, like, for me, a 2K Fed. They like out damn. What I'm trying to say is basically like when I see most 2K feds, they are just the same. This like yours is actually kind of different because yours do various match types in like in your episodic shows. Yeah, I kind of like throw throwing it up a bit every now and then. Yeah, like it got me to the point where like I remember when I saw Zulai debut. He wanted to be in the Hell and Cell match. I'm like, yeah. are you for real? <laughs> because like usually you don't really like you don't see certain match types happen for like certain views or gimmick pay per views or something like that. Yeah, yeah, like it is kind of there's usually a big build up to it. But I wanted, you know, he wanted to claim he's the most hardcore wrestler, and I thought, well, what what's the most hardcore way you could start in an already quite hardcore federation? Yeah, and I'll be honest with you, I see New Extremes Wrestling to be like an ECW type fed because not only it's hardcore, but y'all do some some like I'll be honest with you, some of your matches are not good, but they're not bad. But then you get other other matches be actually pretty pretty good. So yeah. like it's like various types and stuff like that. And um, yeah. we we have kind of gone down more the one on one route since we've sort of introduced that whole ranking system as more of a focus. But yeah, I mean, the, there are times again, it's it's the plague of two K. Sometimes you just get terrible matches, and you kind of have to stick with it for where you're going. For real, that's why I'm taking a break from two K and sticking with yeah. Fire Pro. Shit, Which is understandable. <laughs> I mean. Through you, I'm getting more into the Fire Pro stuff. It is actually a really enjoyable game to watch. Yeah, it's like I like Two K is my childhood. This was, but like, even though I am, like, even though I live for 18 years and I literally play various wrestling games such as Smash vs Raw, which I really miss. Yeah, and now Two K. I have to give 2K credit where that credit is due. The entrances be fantastic. The matches be kind of cool. But they, but it's so limited. Yeah, the, there's so much missing from it. Like, I, I mean, I remember saying to you on Discord that I just want to have somewhere with a podium at one point to have interviews, and you can't even have that without them not looking at the screen or having to mess around in the back and do a lot of editing to make it happen. I feel you. That's why 
uh, it's so hard to like like two K. It's a lot of freedom in two K, but with freedom comes limitations. If that makes any sense, because I'm yeah. just saying on my ass. But like, um, because like when I mess around with two K and stuff like that, it's just. You, it's like you don't want to reuse the same cutscenes over and over again, but yeah. but again, there's no green screen like official green screen for it. No, there's that tiny little one in the corridor, and you can only yeah. really do a promo on that. And the only time I see somebody actually go way beyond is FAM and XVPW. Them yeah. them two go way beyond, and they actually oh, yeah. try so hard just to do something different. Which is kind of cool, but same... they do all the, the the little cuts and everything, and yeah, yeah that that's twenty eight seconds of footage you're playing with at a time, and that, that's a lot, a lot of work. I don't think you could pull off a weekly show without being edited years in advance for that. Yeah, like when I try Lionheart Wrestling and try to like do it weekly, I came to realization that that takes a lot of editing, and it's gonna yeah. kill me. <laughs> It's the reason I'm sort of, but I'm editing March and April stuff right now because the the amount of time it actually takes to put some of the stuff together to make it look decent and make it fun to watch for people. Yeah, I understand that. Like when you f- like what, like I want to know when did New Exchange Wrestling even start. Um, 2015 was it, its kind of launch. I, I consider that now as the test period. There was a a month or I, I think I think it was three months and like two pay per views, and then it disappeared for about a year and came back in 2016, and that's when it's kind of been going full force since. Hmm. You said 2015. That's when the the, the testing era started. Yeah, that was when I was just kind of messing around like. Um, character ideas were there, but not nothing official. And then when I kicked off in 2016, I changed a lot of the characters because new game. I didn't think about keeping anything consistent. It was only after that I was like, right, I'm going to keep this consistent. Try and copy oh, people over gosh. as best as I can because there's no import feature on 2K, which is another big flaw that they've got. Just to be able to import your old characters from the last game, that'd be a milestone. They actually did that before, like back in Smash vs. Raw. Yeah, Smash vs. Raw two thousand nine and Legends of Wrestling. You could import your characters from there, which which was really cool. Which was really yeah. dope. If they bring that back, I would say most of these e feds will actually be a lot consistent. Yeah, because I mean, being able to send people over. I mean, that's another thing with me being on PC. There's very few other people doing two K on PC as far as e feds go. So you don't get a lot of talent trade without having to recreate their character from scratch. And that that's a lot of work. I mean, I'm I'm more than willing to do it to get people in. But, you know, it takes a good week or two to get a person just recreated. It does. It's like when I started e-fedding, which was 2K e-feds. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it was um, 2K. I think it was 2K16. Yeah, when I first started doing e-feds, and I and I and I kind of stopped, and then the next game I want to do another fed. Next game, another different fed. I was never consistent when I was like in my high school or middle school times. I was never consistent with my shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I probably wouldn't have been. I mean I always think that with the old board feds that are going around. I mean. They're, they're ancient, and I think if I'd have stumbled across them oh, as the... a kid, I'd have probably been making all sorts of crazy little kind of rock wannabes and, you know, stone cold wannabes and things like that. Yeah. But... Like, I do want to talk to somebody who does body fest to get their input on how, the, how it works, because I don't know nothing about body fest. I got one person no. who wanted me to join their body fest, and I forgot all about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I've never really delved into it, but I mean, I, I write a lot for the Reno Report, and it's I do enjoy writing, but I don't think I'd have the time to get a character into one of theirs as well. 
with everything else that's going along. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, I see you trying to, like, like, I noticed that, like, you wanted to bring everybody together and try to, like, support like mention other e feds because I'll be honest with you, from two K and Fire Pro, and and I've been told this. There's some tribalism in the e fed community, and people don't want to like work with other feds. There's some that do want to work with other feds, but most of the, but like most of them don't really want to dive into other feds and try to start a network. Even though there's yeah. some starting a network, but there's like. They have their own area. If you're not from like this fed, like this fed or that fed, they don't really care about you. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, I don't really, really want to drop fed names here or anything, but I mean, WVU, I've seen, seen them around. They seem very exclusive with who they interact with, whereas like the eFed Hub and um, WVGU are very open to people joining and very very welcoming as communities and i kind of enjoyed that and that's kind of what i want to bring with triple threat promotions speaking of triple threat promotions you wanted to do triple threat promotions because you wanted to bring everybody together right yeah so so for people who don't know about triple threat promotions it's basically like a nah, it's not like a network, but it's more like a collaborative work. Where like I think I'm saying it right, like like yeah. saying it right. But like it's like a collaborative work, three main promotions, but we but but we will welcome other promotions just to get their name out there. Yeah. Like we're wanting to pro promote ourselves as much as the others out there. I mean, we've we've got a list down the side for all the people that are wanting to join like again wvgu's on there at the moment they've got their amino linked but um we're also wanting to expand with writers and getting um the actual main part of it showcasing other things out there and things like that i mean we, we've been over it before like uh, weekly dives into promotions things like that yeah and Something that they caught my mind is like Twitter. Oh my god, <laughs> Twitter <laughs> and like 2K Fez is like if you're not well known to the EFA community, oh well, but if you're well known in the EFA community, you'll be greeted and be treated like a like family. It's like people want to start. You uh, how to explain this? People want to be known in the EFIC community, like in a two K community, because the two K community, holy crap, it's such it could be toxic as hell, but it could be very you know cool. Yeah, very involving. Like hell, I got mistaken from a guy who did some dumb stuff because I followed somebody. <laughs> No, like yeah. no joke. Like for Lionheart Wrestling, I follow this one fed and then they DM me saying talking this crazy stuff and basically saying that I'm this and that. I'm like, what yeah. the hell? I I I am just trying to get I'm just trying to be nice and follow you because I know you, but you don't know me. I'm just like, oh my God. Yeah, that that's the one fear I have about bringing people into an EW that somewhere down the line someone's going to watch a show and be like, oh, that guy's been, you know, banned from every Discord going. I'm like, well, I didn't know. <laughs> right. It's like... It's like you got scandals from, like, from the inappropriate stuff, and then you got them being assholes and dicks, but and then you just, like, then they confuse everybody for that one person. Like, yeah, and you get some people chill. really paranoid that as soon as anyone enters the Discord, they need proof that they're not that person. Yeah, <laughs> like I seen that, and I was like, I thought I thought this was a I thought this was a chill community. Why is it beef? Yeah, there, there seems to be a lot of um, paranoia from time to time. Yeah, 
But again, I, I wasn't around when all this stuff happened, so it, it might be well placed. I don't know. I don't know how bad it got. I mean, I've seen a lot of people pretending to be other federations, and I can imagine that would be very annoying. Especially when you start a federation, then you close it down because of some personal reasons, and they did, and then they just laugh at you. Yeah. Like, what the hell? But Fire Pro is no different. <laughs> well. Fire Pro is like, I would say this. There are a massive community around Fire Pro and with this thing called Critical Club. They basically the main like let, let's just say they're like the like the big dogs of the Fire Pro community. Let's just say if you're if you're trying to be into the if you're trying to be into into the Fire Pro community, anybody who's listening to this and you want to join Critical Club, first of all, be be yourself and be original, because because Critical Club, there's some original people, but at the same time, there's like you can start seeing there's some, I guess, some little tribalism here and there. It's like if you're not part of Critical Club, we don't care about you. Same with 2K. If you're not part of the big leagues like COH and all the other stuff, we don't give a damn about you. But yeah. Oh, oh, what's gonna say? I was gonna say it's a bit of a shame because you know there could be some diamonds in that in that rough that's up and coming that yeah. people don't see, and people don't advertise other people though. It's yeah. like I see that a lot in two K, like like they will advertise other p- promotions like their commercials, but in Fire Pro we don't really see it like that, and I'm trying to start doing that. Like start yeah. promoting other, you know, channels, other feds, and across the world. Even if I had to make my show up, because my show in a W, for my like our show would be like thirty minutes. Yeah, I don't yeah, mind. Like I don't mind like adding a commercial here or there just to make it longer by accident. As long as long as I get a chance to get your name out there, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm thinking the same with with Brawl. I want to expand the advert breaks we do have. I mean, a lot of them are about internal stuff at the moment. I want to change that and get more adverts from other people put in there. Hopefully, you do get some more adver- like adverts. Like, I was thinking about redoing my little intro because that just joins old right now. Yeah. But other than that... This community is fun and it's hell. How long do you like like how long does it take for you to just edit one episode? Well, it it tends to depend on how the matches go. I mean, that's the hardest part for me. I mean, there's been matches where I've wanted a certain person to win and it's it all depends on storyline. Some of them I do leave up to the AI, but if there's someone I'm particularly wanting to push in storyline, I'll try and get them the specific wins or losses that they need and recently that's kind of come into effect and i've had matches where i've had like five or six rematches and it's been the same result every time i've just gone no i'm gonna move on and try and think of something else and it's been a bit of a nightmare that but um other than that i kind of it depends what what's happening on the show i mean there's it, the vignettes in between can take quite some time Promos tend to be pretty quick now. Yeah, because it's you know, the creative it's... stuff in the matches. Yeah, I understand. Promos can be a real bitch at a time. Thinking of like what to say or whatever, especially especially if your roster's like all made by you. Yeah, yeah, be... trying to make them different. Yeah, try not that's to a make big challenge. That is a challenge. Hell, I mean. <laughs> that that's one of the things I've loved about people coming in. It's like, oh, I don't have to think about where this character's going. You know, they've got more creative control over this, and I'll try and help them along with where they want to be as that character. Yeah. Whereas everyone else that I've got in my fed at the moment, the, the vast majority of them, I'm trying to think, well, you know, what makes him different to him? Because they are kind of similar at the moment. and They need to stand apart. Everyone needs to be unique. Everybody do need to be unique. 
Like, you got some people that's trying to copy off real-life wrestlers instead of being original, which is kind of, it's flattering because, because you, well, to the real wrestler, it'll it, it, be flattering. But, like, yeah. to, like, the roster itself. It, it's nothing creative. Yeah. I mean, I, I've been guilty of that from time to time. I've introduced people like, right, I want them to be my Brock Lesnar, for example. And it, it's not worked out anywhere. I mean, most of the time I kind of do that idea. It just never works out. So I've kind of gone, right, I'll introduce someone, see how they go and see what kind of develops, see if I can get a rivalry out of some of the matches. You know, if it goes a bit far, you know, if they throw each other out to the outside of the ring every time. And there's clearly something going on, and you can kind of get a bit more of something out of the character that way instead. I'll be honest with you. When I made Tasmania, Tasmania was going to be like, like, like at first, he's going to be basically the black John Moxley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the reason why, because I just love his theme song. The, like, his New yeah. Japan theme song is the best. Like, yeah, I, like I don't care about his AW one, I like his New Japan one. And I can't wait till that album comes out. <laughs> <laughs> But when I made Tasmania, he wanted—I want him to be like John Moxley. But then I realized I—I kind of want him to have a, like, not make him crazy because I already got a crazy character named Kano. Yeah. But Taz is supposed to be like, how do I explain this? It's like, like I said, he's trying to be the Black John Moxley, but he's gonna be a little different. He's gonna have like some traits from like some like other wrestlers or basically musical artists like 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 this one person named Zillakami. Mm. He like he does mm. trap metal, like trap right. and metal. So like it's mixed between metal music and trap music. Guitar riffs and the beats and, and distorted bass. Yeah, a bit a bit like Ghostman. Oh I love Ghostman. Oh yeah, Ghostman's brilliant. But but like Zilakami is like he's freaking insane. Like <laughs> I need to find a picture. This was funny. Like like he like he like like Zilakami took a took a freaking selfie of himself. Let me just save the image. Add to this freaking folder, and I'm about to send it to you. Let me just find you. You're right there. Like, check your Discord. How about the like this is the shit that actually makes me want to free. Like, yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> and let's just say that's a real RPG. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not making that up. <laughs> he like in like one of his music videos, he came to the like like the apartment. Like, like it was a mattress sitting there. He he pulled up the mattress. It was two RPGs under it, and they were actual RPGs. And that's insane. Yes. So like Taz is basically like a Zilakami like person, but like this like his theme song. Like if you notice, his theme song is actually Zilakami's song, song called Hockey Puck. Right. Yeah, so like... I was wondering who it was when you sent me it. Yeah, that was Zilakami. Freaking beast and crazy. <laughs> but Taz supposed to be something like... He's supposed to be like a unique... Like a unique version of me. Yeah. Like most of my characters I make, like who are my main, main characters, are representation of me. Which is Which is pretty... Somewhat unique and somewhat original. I don't know if anybody does that. Like I know some, like I know one person who who actually made a, a representation of him, and like certain and like some of his characters. But we don't really see a lot of people trying to be themselves. No. No, yeah. I mean I I kind of I had Irwin as as a wrestler in two K for a while, but. It again. I, I couldn't set the AI the the AI level. It was always submission. It was either too easy or too hard. 
And then I, it was at that point where my character was basically tapping out every time he got put into submissions. So I was like, well, what's the, you know. Yeah. I, I would try and logically improve my submission game, but then I make it too easy and I'm the champion and defeating people who are seven foot two and 600 pounds and it just doesn't make sense. So I kind of thought, right, it's time to retire that character and just let the AI take over. Damn. But yeah, as far as like character ideas, um, yeah, I don't think any of mine are really based on me. There's a lot of influence of things in the real world, you know, yeah, like I can see anger that. towards stuff gets fueled into the heel side of things, and the love of the world and working together gets fueled into the the uh, faces. Yeah, I sing yeah a lot. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> but like, I see what you're saying. It's like. I like part of me was like I wanted I never seen Irwin actually in a match. I do want to see him in a match because I'm curious cuz apparently he was four-time NEW champion, right? Yeah. I, amongst other t- I think I won pretty much every title going, which was another reason where I was like, yeah, it's getting a bit ridiculous now. <laughs> you know, every time he steps in the ring, he you kind of guaranteed to win. <laughs> oh boy. It's like every single time I either play online on 2K or get some calls for for the Fed for for 2K, they're always over a hundred. I'm like, they gonna win. Yeah. You know, son, they lose. <laughs> yeah, and and another thing that I mean, I tried tweaking with the the sliders a lot. I but, tweak the sliders a lot every single time. <laughs> but again, even when you've got you know, a a player rather than the AI. It just changes things dramatically. I mean the, the AI versus AI I think I've I've got to a, a happy standard now. I mean you'll notice in the next few shows it kinda of goes a bit all over the spot as I'm messing with them, but what once April hits we're at sort of this level I'm happy with. I lowered the stamina a lot so they're less likely to do too many crazy things, but at the same time, it's still crazy enough to be new extremes. Mm-hmm. Like I ran that because um, I've just been finishing up all the Invitational Cup stuff. I ran the the main event, which is an hour Iron Man match. And okay, was, that's one I match was... I will probably <laughs> watch in different parts. Yeah, I mean, I always expect that with our long shows. I don't expect anyone to sit there and watch the whole damn thing because it is a long. I mean, the whole that whole shows just over two hours but i mean it was the invitational cup so it's meant to be a pay-per-view it's meant to be quite big but yeah that main event um i was a bit worried about how it was going to be i mean we haven't commentated it yet we usually do that of the the week before it comes out but um i was kind of worried about the pacing of that and how boring it'd be and it actually ends up uh, i thought it'd be i think it's going to be quite a fun one to watch hmm I'll be, I'll be, I'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you. I was watching one of your pay per views, and I was like, when I heard 60 minute Iron Man match, I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a very off putting match. I, yeah. I, I completely understand. I mean, I don't pull them out too much. I mean, the the yeah. last one with uh, Razor Parsons and Vega, I think that's the only one before this one and i think this is going to be a yearly thing but that's the only time we're going to pull out the full hour because it is draining just even to commentate over it oh trust me when i was commentating for lionheart wrestling inaugural i was so out of it like (laughs) that you could tell from like the um the women's match i stopped commentating because i was like this is going to kill me (laughs) See, that's the worst thing. I mean, commentary, I always think, is it's a nice bonus on on a show. So, I mean, it, it in is the real bonus. wrestling world, it adds a lot. I mean, and I try and make the same kind of thing. Well, me and Max try and make the same kind of thing with our show. I add a lot of storyline to it, add a lot of detail that you wouldn't get just from what you're watching. Um, but yeah, if if you don't try and put it all in, I mean, we've had some terrible shows, and it shows in the commentary. When you just like, I'm, you know, we're calling moves wrong and everything, and 
we just end up breaking down and being like, who's even in the ring again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say that, like, the difference between commentating for a 2K show and commentating for a Fire Pro show, 2K is real time. Yeah. Fire Pro is double time. Yeah, it's accelerated. Uh, yeah, so I rather come to over a Fire Pro show than a 2K show because, like, Fire Pro matches go like around not above 15 minutes or like not above 15 minutes in, in less than um 10 minutes because yeah, so, of the because because of the double time. So it'd be a lot easier to call. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, it's, it's a lot faster pace. I mean, I, I kind of run it over in my head sometimes when I'm getting quite into it. I mean, when, especially when I'm writing the Reno report, I'll be like doing little calls in my head, and yeah, it, it'd be it'd be hard to keep up with at times. But I could see it, it does being be hard because <laughs> they throw that many moves in in a little flurry. I mean, but I mean, two K is guilty of that as well. You get a little flurry on you and you're just like, yeah, I can't really say exactly what's going on in the match because it's happening so fast. <laughs> like, I, like, I give 2K its credit. Making a character is fun. Yeah. In 2K. But my issue is that, like, 2K20, it's still broken, which is, sucks yeah. major dick because I transfer everybody in 2K20. Now I regret it. But same time, what the fuck am I gonna do with myself anymore? It's a hard one because part of me feels that they're not going to fix two K twenty now. The best idea I thought would be to say, "Look, we know it's broken. Uh, we're going to release two K twenty one, and then give everyone who got two K twenty some kind of discount." Because it's just it's it's nigh on unplayable for me. I haven't been back on it in ages. Same, and I and yeah. I still got some footage I forgot to take out of my um PlayStation. Oh. <laughs> like I recorded fight or flight, and like I need to do one more thing to the footage, then I just edit it, and then 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 I might just do a monthly show in some weekly matches just to hype up weekly promos to hype up and then just be mellow yeah that'd be cool because hold because holy crap doing a weekly show was my biggest mistake yeah yeah but... it's, it's one of them when we changed our timing because we at one point we were live streaming a show was it every four four days of every week and it was ridiculous because I never used to commentate over it, so it wasn't a bother at the time. But then, as soon as we started commentating over it when I moved house and Max joined the team, if you will, um, yeah, we I started realizing, yeah, this is a, a lot of work to actually commentate over. And then I wanted to start editing things in, so that's when we dropped to weekly. But like I said, I'm so far ahead in timeline now, I couldn't think of trying to get one out within a week, like from show to show. Not without 100% free time. Have you ever watched COH? No, I don't think I have. Okay. Because I, cause I'm going to be honest with you. COH, it's a pretty... It's alright. Say the best. Like, it's kind of like a copycat of Ring of Honor. Right. But they have... Oh, the Car the, of Honor, yeah. Yeah, yeah Car of Honor. But, like, they do, like, two different brands. Like, like SmackDown vs. Raw. Yeah. But they've got Battleground and some other crazy shit. But they do it like monthly because they're editing. Here's the thing I I don't like about 2K. This is my biggest pet peeve. The shows are too damn long. (laughs) Yeah, they definitely can be. I mean, again, (laughs) the the last time we did a four-hour show, we came off commentary and we're just like, why? (laughs) Why did we do that to ourselves? That could have been four shows right there. Right, <laughs> but like, especially when the AI goes wrong, that's a that's a big reason why we stopped doing live. Yeah, and like, I don't like, I don't like, I will accept long shows if it's like a big, big event, like a WrestleMania or Wrestle Kingdom like show. Yeah, I will accept it, and then I set my fate that I'm gonna die afterwards. 
because <laughs> because like I watched a whole Wrestling Kingdom show. I kind of regret it, but at the same time I didn't because it was good matches. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like if it's a car show, don't have high expectations. <laughs> No, because there's gonna yeah. be some wacky stuff going on. Yeah, I mean uh, that. That's again, we we cut down to six matches, and in April we're thinking of cutting. Well, we are cutting down to five to try and lower the time again because it is it's a lot to ask people to watch, especially is. if they want to watch all of the car stuff out there. Yeah, like I would say, I saw one car show. That does thirty minute shows. It was World Championship Car. Yeah, yeah, like that. They're good. I like them. Yeah, they're good. I, I enjoy them. And like, they do like. I don't know. I don't know if it's a he or she who who's making the show, but like, they pretty much make it look like it's a um old school studio show. Which is pretty yeah. unique, and then yeah, now, now, yeah. then now, other people want to copy that shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know the the whole NWA revival got me inspired, and there was part of me that wanted to kill New Extreme Wrestling and start this new promotion. And I was like, no, it's been going five years. It's it's yeah. the the core show. I can't just kill that. So that's that's where BWI came around. And I kind of went for that atmosphere because it is. It, there's something cool about studio wrestling. Yeah, it's, there's something that is cool about studio wrestling. And I'll be, and I'm gonna be honest and be guilty. Well, plead guilty because I kill a lot of my shows, <laughs> like from 2K shows to Fire Pro shows. Now, I, now I want to like make one show that will last me until I. Retire from Ethan. Yeah, I mean, New Extremes is all I ever had, so it kind of just carried on even with the name. And again, we've have kind of gone for the. It's more about the extremes the people will go through than the actual extremes of the match. Sometimes to try and turn it around a bit and change it up a bit. But um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I noticed that all your matches are no DQ. Yeah, a lot of them, yeah. I mean, again, we've started going back into the one-on-ones again, so there will be DQs in those, but... Is that extreme, then? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just... <laughs> but, hey, ECW, they call itself Extreme Championship Wrestling. Some of their, like, some of their matches are standard matches, but... So, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's one of them. I, that that is the bit that kind of irks me. That's kind of where British wrestling, uh, British wrestling injection came from. Because I was like, well, if New Extremes has kind of got to stay extreme, then I do want a a real wrestling program as well on the side. So the the one on ones allow for the managers. Because that's another thing with two K. You can't have a manager down if it's extreme rules. So unless uh, you actually um. Unless you actually, um, what was I about to say? God damn it, I forgot what I was about to say. Like, unless you do a script or like a saying that I was, or just do like a storyline where like the manager want to help him out, but the ref said, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah, you'd have to throw <laughs> something like that in. Like, every time yeah. it's an Extreme Rules match, it's like, no, it's a clear advantage. I mean, I think I yeah. used that as a GM ruling at one point that. If it's an extreme rules match, no one can accompany them to the ring. But then there's interference, so you kind of expect them to do run-ins because it's an extreme rules match. So it's a hard balance in trying to surprise people. It really is a hard balance because now now people want to be smart and stuff. So smart marks and yeah, and everything. So it's like <laughs> which I'm definitely guilty of. I mean. Yeah, uh, my, my love of wrestling has been since childhood, but I definitely know more. I mean, I wanted to be one as a kid, you know, until the age of 14. That was actually going to be my goal to go to uh, the Bulldogs gym in Manchester. Hmm. But life changed. And then when I came back to wrestling, I, I kind of 
knew a bit more about the background of it and had a pre an appreciation more of that kind of side of things. It was understandable and respectful. Yeah, I mean, uh, I love the the whole entertainment side of things, like how they get that story across, how even though everyone now knows it's not real, you're willing to suspend your disbelief from time to time for these amazing matches. And, it, you know, there's still a yeah. great deal of physical endurance put into it. And I see the core universe in that same way. People who create characters, there's a lot of thought gone into who they are and what they want to be. And the same with the feds. There's a lot of thought in how they're put together. And I love that. Hmm. Like when I was in the car community, well, not in the car community, but like in basically in EFIC community, I'm gonna say this, and this was, was the wildest thing I ever did being a being like signed to a show. I was this character named Kano, which is a which is a, which is a exaggeration re representation of me. Kano won the WCC, not the world Championship call, but this other WCC thing on on Fire Pro. He won the championship by cashing in his opportunity after a match, similar to Money in the Bank. Yeah. And then... Yeah, we have the golden ticket. <laughs> the golden ticket. The Willy Wonka golden ticket. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, he won the championship. Then he then he has to have singles matches and multi-man matches just to prove to the fans, to prove to the locker room that... He is the real deal. Yeah. I'm going to be guilty of this because I was dumb as hell <laughs> around, around this time. This happened this year. <laughs> like, in, <laughs> Let's just say when Kano got, I think, either knocked out slash critical during a Multiman match, he got so pissed off. I may, I'll be honest with you. I was in the wrong f for doing this. I, I typed up a promo, right? Then, like, I I insert a GIF or, or a GIF of Stone Cold doing something with the belt. You probably know where I'm going with this. Yeah, I think I have a, an idea what that is. <laughs> the promo was basically like this. Fuck the company. Fuck you. Fuck everybody in this company. And he threw, and I, send, and I put a GIF of Stone Cold throwing the belt off the bridge. Yeah, into the river. <laughs> into the river. And I make sure, and I did that to, to my main character, Kano. Just threw the belt off the bridge. I felt like a dickhead after that. <laughs> because, like... Because, um... I did kind of got in trouble. Almost, like... But... It was funny and worth it. But... Same time, it wasn't worth it because... Now my character walks in the ring... You know, because they because they had it to DLC were like were like you know interest attires and all that stuff. So you come in with a belt. Yeah. Now my character doesn't come in with the belt. Because <laughs> he threw it. Because he threw the damn thing off the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> but but I did like um did like a little favor for for the for the commissioner to like remake a belt before that happened. And I didn't tell him I was gonna do that, so I was a dickhead for that. But I did introduce a new, a newer version of the belt, yeah. which I made in Fire Pro Wrestling Return, the old Fire Pro game. Uh. And I have to, you know, crop it out, make it transparent, and all that stuff. So yeah, yeah. So sometimes I would say this: if you're gonna do something too, too extreme. Like throwing a bell off a bridge or anything related to that, or I'm not gonna make that joke because it's kind of bad. It's a page joke, but I don't want to make that joke. <laughs> or like do something vandalize the belt. Tell the boss first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and don't be like me taking things to his own hands because you're gonna get in trouble even if the boss doesn't say anything in a couple weeks yeah i mean again that that is the one advantage to being the the one who puts together the matches and edits it yeah you kind of know what backlash you're going to 
get and how to work that you know because i always say you know i drop into each each character's channel that we have in the the discord and here's your update where do you want to go from that how would your character react and you know I, if someone did do that in mine i'd probably be like well you know if you're saying that does that you know does that mean you're leaving or what what are you wanting to do here disappear for a little bit and make a big comeback i don't know you know i quite like yours of him coming back without the belt and <laughs> having to work some story around that way you know I yeah. like, that. <laughs> like i literally tried to hold up hmm? My bad. Um, what I was trying to say is that I would say that. Damn, I lost everything because I got interrupted. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> but but it's not her fault. It's not her fault. But like, um, I want to know why you got so many belts. <laughs> like you got oh yeah, but... <laughs> OC many belts. You got the women's no. You got the heavyweights, women's and women's and men's. Yeah, Juniors, women's and men's, women's and men's, tag team, women's and men's. I'm like, yep. God damn. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then there's the UK and European. Because yeah. There was, uh... what's, the dis- what's the difference between the UK and European, Bill? <laughs> oh, the, uh, I, the UK is meant to be the rung below the European. So they're ah. all steps up in, in their respective thing. It was just because there was that many that many characters at one point. I mean, we've pretty much hit the 100 mark. I've dropped a few recently. But the junior ones were from when we had another show and it was going to be like the developmental thing. And then I thought, well, if you're seeing them all the time, it, it kind of defeats the point of Brawl because when they come over, they'll be more known, but then they'll get less matches as they try and work their way up. So I tried to, as we moved it back into one show, I tried to work that in. I might end up using the UK championship it was more because there wasn't a, for a secondary women's title that has put them in mm. but yeah i do have way too many belts <laughs> i mean if you want to unify some belts there's yeah, always I mean, a way to UK unify european the, yeah i was about to say that like you could just unify the uk european just make it one big um e- e- european I don't know. I was about to say the I was about to say the EU, but I that but some shit happened. But <laughs> yeah, that whole the Brexit yeah, championship. I, yeah, I was about the, <laughs> the Brexit championship. <laughs> oh but yeah, God. I mean the the one good thing about that European championship is when you step out of the UK championship, yeah. you're in that realm of being a future world champion but you're also fighting former world champions that aren't in that division at the time it's it's a weird way in my head but yeah i've been thinking for some time what one or two belts kind of could do with disappear and streamline it down a bit more i mean you could keep the um the woman's tag team because revolution yeah but, but we got there before WWE, so I kind of feel like I need to stay there now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I would say, if you're going to do something with a belt, you could just unify, like, just have two women's belts. That's just my opinion. Yeah. But what I mean, that? Essentially, yeah, if, if it comes to, like, say, keeping the UK, drop the junior and have a UK women's champion as well as a world women's champion. That that could be an idea down the road. That would be an idea. Mm. So when I think about car in general, I think about like different types of like feds. It's like you will see a hardcore fed that's kind of hard to do in two K. Because yeah, of, cause they 2K took away a lot of things. I'm like, God oh, damn it, B. 2K15 used to be brilliant for hardcore matches. I mean, because we do the flashback show, I've been going through old matches trying to pick out some of the best ones. And watching some of them, it's like, oh, I kind of want to make a federation on there. But some of the AI that's missing from 2K19 nowadays just wouldn't make it as fun to watch. 
if it was SmackDown vs. Raw, then it would be easy. <laughs> they got yeah. the barbed wire bat. They got the... They get, yeah, you they could hard, use hard anything. Hard. Like, god damn. Yeah, even SmackDown 2 back in the day, you know. Yeah. You, you had a lot of choice with weaponry in that game as well. I mean, a lot of Attitude Era focused games are like that, but... Or just post Attitude Era. But no modern ones seem to utilize it too much. I mean, and there's some in Gnar. I mean, uh, I've seen that in um, Fire Pro, sorry. You know, so in some of the Gnar matches, you've had barbed wire bats and things. Yeah. Fire Pro, they got landmine deathmatch, barbed wire deathmatch, cage of death. Yeah. And I'm just like, bruh. When you when are you guys gonna add tables, ladders, and like tables and ladders like furniture? But yeah. hey, we got so close to getting tables to the point we got a piece of table. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, like, a, like oh wow, of wood. <laughs> just a piece of wood. Yeah, <laughs> but because at first when I saw it, I was like, is that a shard of glass? I was like, oh no, no, they've dropped it. It was a piece of table, <laughs> <laughs> a piece of wood. <laughs> Like they got the announced tables in this garden arena, and why can't we just put somebody through the damn thing? <laughs> yeah, but well, uh, that was something else I was excited for with 2K20. All that weapon customization, I thought, well, at least then you know you can have someone who has a weird, you know, a, a steel wrapped chair, or a lollipop, normal chairs. Well, yeah, I saw the lollipop, I was like, yeah, that's never getting used. But some of them looked like, yeah, I could find a character that'd wield that and. Yeah, sadly, the game's that bad that it's just not happening. Not to mention, I had the unlocker for it all, and you still have to go through levels to unlock stuff. I hate that so much. Why Why does wrestling games have to beat levels now? <laughs> it's That's like, I wouldn't cool. mind having to unlock stuff if it told me from the start, but I got the ac- accelerator for the, the reason for not having to do that, so I could get on with my core universe. <laughs> Ended up being a waste of a game anyway, so... <laughs> Basically. Yeah. So... When it comes down to... Matter of fact... I was just... Like, this is probably a random ass thing I'm about to say, but, like... I was looking at the damn news for, the for like... And then I saw D.C. Like, I live near D.C. Like, Washington, yeah. T.C., USA. So, apparently they got a rugby team. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just so confused, befuzzled, and amazed. I did not realize that, no. <laughs> I did not realize that until I saw it on the freaking news. I'm like, what? A professional rugby team. Professional. Well, yeah, rug- rugby is a good spot. I mean... I don't really follow many other sports apart from wrestling. Definitely none as in depth as I do wrestling. But I if rugby games on, I'll definitely watch it. My dad loves it. <laughs> you know, I find it very tricky to like. First of all, um, you had your WrestleMania show, New Year. That was a long ass show. <laughs> yeah, that was. That, that's now set as the only one that's allowed to be stupidly long. Any other one, we try and keep. Like, if it's going to be a, a pay per view, which is our free extended events, we, we try and keep them at two hours at a maximum. True, because, like, I'm going to your channel and I'm just like. Why is CZW the first thing that pops up? When I type in New Extreme Wrestling. No that idea. has to be the funniest in the... <laughs> just, wow. Like, from looking at your channel, most of your episodes are like hour to one and a half hour. Yeah, I mean, with the new editing that I've been doing, it, it's, yeah, usually around one and a half. It was, it used to be like trying to make a two-hour show, and then I was like, well... No one's watching the second half of these. I can cut most of this out. Six matches, it's still interesting. Still covers all the the matches I need to. But again, I think I can do it with five and still get to the extended events with 
championship matches being made. Hmm. And right now, I am literally filtering it to old to new. You apparently you have this thing called the compound t- t- developmental. Oh yeah, that was the uh, old show, and we because it was a. Uh... When I first started, it was all on my old YouTube channel, which is the the Irwin one. And then I thought it kind of needs its own. But yeah, that that compound was where we had the junior champions. The the idea was that they'd have to be there for a while. They have to win the championship before they can move over to the the main leagues. Similar to like NXT. Yeah. But then I thought, with the amount of people I'd have to keep adding to keep the the show to be able to keep rolling, it's it's just going to get to too many people. And then when I wanted to do the cup thing and BWI, there's just not enough room on the the two K roster. And again, another downside on there is because it's all to do with memory on the consoles, but on a PC, you've got as much memory as you you can put into it. So why do I not get extra character slots and things like that? I could have a real army of cars by now, <laughs> but I've had to delete loads of them that could really come back at any point, but it's having to find the space for them now. Yeah, finding the space for, like, characters is actually pretty tricky, because, like, with 2K, there's, like, limited space for yeah, everything. I, I think it's, it's annoying as hell. characters, and... You can only have 10 or something Titan Trons, because I wanted to make everyone a unique Titan Tron, but you can't do that without modding the game. And Wait, it's a, it's you only a have lot 10? I think it's 10 or 20. I can't, I can't remember. It's not oh, many. No wonder, no wonder everybody had the same as that Titan Tron. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can't use custom uh, uh, fan signs without modding the game. That's another one that annoys me. The custom music one I kind of understand, but yeah, copyright still, reasons, all that stuff. Yeah, but still, if you're going to record it and put it on YouTube, you're probably going to edit it and put music on right. it like we do anyway, you know, so just have YouTube do its work on going naughty, you've used a song that someone else made. You know? <laughs> Damn. Because... And again, I went through that phase of trying to use all custom created music and uh, yeah, once cars started coming in and the car, the copyright notices came back in. I was like, "Oh well, I'll oh, just fuck it, <laughs> make it fun to hear again. <laughs> use the songs I want to use rather than trying to make something that kind of sounds like that." <laughs> for your for your wrestlers, like cause, I noticed that most of the theme songs are like not generic, but they actually something you don't hear in other car shows. Are yeah, they like again, non-copyrighted or what? Yeah, a lot of it's um, stuff I've made or um, the band I'm in, uh, Lyle, me and my friend, we did jams and I I edit all the music on that as well. So with them all lying around, well, I could, that would be quite a good song for him. So I've used them and then... Uh, he was in the band? Yeah, well, I've been in a few, but yeah, I'm, uh, me and my friend, we, we kind of gigged around in our own bands around here and then ended up making music together and that that's kind of what you hear is a lot of those songs that's tough and then the kind of dancier stuff's just i mean i i've been playing around on that music software since i was a kid as well so it was another thing i kind of i knew it wouldn't be the best sound and stuff but it'd do you know I'm no Jim Johnson. I can't play guitar. That's that's the one downside. I can't play any kind of musical instrument that's worth a damn. I just play drums. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Like what music software you use? Uh, Fruit Loop Studio. Oh, I got that. Well, quote unquote. Um, I got it. Quote yeah. Unquote. But <laughs> damn, if if Image Line see this freaking podcast and they hear me say that, they want to. Get on my ass, <laughs> but like FL Studio is actually pretty good. The only downside yeah. about it is that like I don't know if it's just because how I got it or whatever, but sometimes the um, what you call it, 
the the um, drum kits be broken, which is weird. Yeah, I'm having some issues with file paths at the moment. So every time I want to use a certain VST, I have to go browse and find the settings, and I can't just scroll through the big list. I have to go and choose them individually and see if that was the one I was after. That's a sad bit of a nightmare. Yeah, <laughs> luckily I know most of the ones from you know using it that much. I know which sound I kind of want and what it's called. But some of them, I'm like, mm, what does that sound like? I'm like, no, oh, that's horrible. Now I have to find another one to. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, so it can be a bit of a pain. But yeah, it's it's good. I tried Cubase. That's another one. Uh, that's quite big, but I just couldn't get my head around that one. I think I've been and. I've, I've used a few different ones, but Fruit Loops has been the one that I've stuck with because I've got to learn it over the years. Yeah. Like, I'm it's trying to get back into music, somewhere. but the thing is, is having inspiration and shit. Well, yeah. That's, a, that's another thing. It's just with the, the same with the, the wrestling community, really, isn't it? It's, it's all about yeah. finding that, that right inspiration to make the, the, make the masterpiece. <laughs> yeah. For example, I have no clue what the hell I'm going to call my next event for this year so like i so i built up like some matches and stuff and then all of a sudden i came to realize where is my next event am i gonna skip february to to go to march or something yeah we kind of had one of those it was the one before new year i can't i can't even remember what it was called i don't think it was supremacy i think that was the other one Oh no, it might have been. Yeah, because Violence is Golden was the one before that. Supremacy, it kind of felt like one of those filler pay-per-views. And I was like, I know where I wanted to be, it's just I needed a bit more time to get there. So it was kind of one of those, it was the middle of the story to getting to New Year and all the things that happen at New Year. But I tried to make it still feel big. (laughs) Well... Naming events, naming your weekly shows is absolutely hell. Oh, yeah. Because once you pick one, especially for the weekly shows, once you pick one, you're stuck with it. Yeah. I mean, I quite like Brawl, but what did we have? We had Turmoil as well. That was quite a cool one. And Whiplash. (laughs) But again, they were all the extra shows. Brawl's the only one that's kind of stayed throughout. It just moves around. I mean, at one point, I think that was a monthly show. Hmm. I, like, for this new fed Legacy Wrestling League, LWL, it's basically, like, I, I'm not the main owner of it. It was some, It's somebody else. I'm just helping him out because, like, he want to get into e fetting. Yeah. So, like, we decided to do something like the NWA. Legacy Wrestling yeah, League is just the it's just the brand, well the the main thing, and then you got East Coast and I think Southwest, he said. Yeah. East Coast and Southwest. East Coast is on PC, Southwest on the PS4. That's that's how it works. And sometimes we could trade talent and all that stuff. So, yeah. Some fun. Yeah, I like the look of it as well. I like the purple and gold. And the um, mask the referee. The ring is fucking beautiful. <laughs> yeah, That's the first really time they made a beautiful ring. Yeah, I, I really, that was one of the first things that stood out on those exhibition matches. It's like, yeah, that, that's nice. I like the set. <laughs> but, like, my thing is just the fact that, like, keeping up with the shows and all that stuff, especially if you run mini fetch like I am doing, which is retarded yeah. as hell. <laughs> <laughs> No, bro, it's actually dumb because, like, I am running NAW, the Japanese promotion, a, a woman's promotion, and this joint. I feel like a dumbass. <laughs> and then then on top of it, we got the 2K one. Yeah. I might as well just retire. But <laughs> you running right. one fair at a time. You, you're doing a British injection. The yeah, BWI. And I, and I, I stuck that as a monthly show. It only has two matches per show, and it only happens once every three months because of that end of month cycle I've got going. So it, I d- I wouldn't mind doing that as a weekly show because I think it would be quite interesting the way the plans I've got for it. But it's the time. 
the time and yeah, the time power. Me <laughs> yeah. So it's like, well, if I stick it as a monthly end one, it might end up taking over any W and any W ends up as the that one every three months. But I don't know. That's somewhere down the line. We'll have to see. <laughs> How many free extended events you actually held? Oh, overall, quite a few now. Because um, it was one every month, but when we switched to this new, um, new platform, it was it's down to one every three months. So it's similar so to like an NXT AEW schedule. Yeah, because well, again, NXT is a big, big love of mine. Um, I definitely prefer it over the the main roster of Raw and SmackDown. I'd say they they just do something special with their shows. There's very rarely a bad show for me, anyway. You know, it's all subjective, but I quite like that about theirs. They gave a lot of time to build that story to each pay per view, so it didn't just feel like they were having an event because it was the end of the month. They were having an event because there needed to be an event. Yeah, that's kind of the way I've gone for it. And it's like the show be like one hour, and the main, then the other shows be like seventeen, especially yeah. a WrestleMania show. Yeah, that one's brutal. I'll be honest with you, if I would ever like, if I ever decided to like redo the the two K Fed. It's gonna be hella different. I'm I'm just gonna do some like, cause like one thing I was trying to do is this thing called the Indie Taker, which is basically just indie, it's basically like a um, Joey Chandler Spring Break, Josh whatever hell name is Bloodsport, and you know just something like that, just to bring the community t- together and just have some matches, yeah, or or like a PWG, yeah, that'd be funny uh-huh. so a PWG. Could your um, you're taking over the VGWU Super Showcase thing as a as a new showcase as well, aren't you? So that that'll be a very yeah. interesting. The only reason why I decided to do the to host to to host a Super Show because when Zulai tried to do it, he got kind of lazy or like he didn't have enough time. So I wanted to take over. Re- I am willing to recreate anybody from their other show roster because if I do it in like in, in a 2K way, it's not going to be as good. Doing a Fire Pro way, the matches, the match quality will be better. Yeah. And like, I don't have to create a whole arena. I could just create a freaking ring and they already got some cool ass arenas in the game, including the DLC ones. And it's just the fact that like, I want to do something that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I, I reckon that'll be good because, um, yeah, I really enjoyed those Super Showcase. I mean, that that was a again, it's going to be a different style. It's the same idea but a different style, you know. A sort of yours is more a federation of people coming in to showcase themselves. Yeah, his was cl- like a match from each. Each pro, uh, federation, which was a really cool idea. I mean, since he's not doing that, that might be something we could uh, adopt in 3TP as well. You know, some kind of match highlight each week or something. But again, it's it's finding the writers to be interested. I mean, keep putting that post out, hoping that someone will catch on like, oh, I want to write about this. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the sucky part about it is that some people just... Like they'll see it and they'd be like, whatever. And then yeah. like you got some people that that is interested but they're not going to say it. Or they're just kind of nervous. Because like what I see in the call community is more like they see you, but they just don't want to say anything. Yeah. Whereas well, you know, we're we're open and we're inviting to everyone. We just want more than just me writing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, again, I enjoy work. the Reno report, but yeah, it's it's only because I've been off these two week, well, this this week and next, that I'm getting enough chance to pump out a load of these 
but then as as work starts again, I'll um, be having to slow down on them, which means either slowly watching through everything that everyone's made and doing it, you know, getting behind with everything, which I can't really do because again I've got characters in certain ones, so I need to keep up with what's happening with them, or not reporting on as many. Which again is why we want more writers so we can keep up with everything that's going on out there. Yeah, because there's a whole lot of federations out there. There's a whole lot of different people. It's just the yeah. fact that, like, if if you're trying to scout for some people, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, and there's like, like a whole wealth of talent. I mean, I thought. I might catch some interest off someone, say, from the, the board feds, but nothing so far, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Like, I wanted to... Like, this was years ago, but I wanted to, like, start a fed that is basically with everybody's creation, coming to one together and just have a big old fed. Yeah. But... That didn't work out well. And, like, now I just wanted to, like, because I, cause, cause I just want to have a show or, like, not like a weekly show or, like a, or a promotion. More like a show just to, for the rest of the fans. Yeah. Well, that's what it's about, isn't it? Like, yeah. just something that's fun to watch. I mean, again, my my... NEW, it's the whole what I would like people to see in a real promotion. It's just I don't have the the real promotion to do it. So this is the closest I can do for now. Yeah. As I, if people like it, then I know I'm on to something good. <laughs> people like it, or well, people can just give criticisms. But the best thing about it is that people actually watched it. Yeah. And again, with the input from everyone else now, it's going to start making a lot more interesting things as, you know, two characters that are controlled by other people start colliding in this world and I have to try and book a match around it and things like that. It's going to be... That just be reminds a new part me of the PvP fits. Yeah, it's going to be a new part that I haven't delved into yet. PvP fits are absolutely crazy. Like, yeah, I've seen some like, of the promo wars. <laughs> and plus, the thing is, like, I don't. I'm not saying I'm not a fan of PV, of PvP fans. What I'm saying is basically, like, it's like an ego trip. It's about yeah. ego. Like, hey, I, I beat you, and then like some of the matches don't be fun. They just be like, you could tell that they not choreograph like. <laughs> I choreography some of my matches on 2K. Yeah. But during the PvP one, we still choreography, but we ain't trying to make it look... But from what I was told by a good friend of mine, PvP fair is, is like... It's like, if you're trying to do a PvP, PvP fair, don't make it look like it's actually a PvP fair. Make it look like it's actually just actual wrestling yeah and then all of a sudden i see fire pro online i'm not saying nothing bad about them but the one thing i do what i don't like is how like it doesn't it doesn't look like a real wrestling match to me because like yeah. a real wrestling match is like you do a big move you go for the pin all that stuff yada yada yada, yada. The pvp shit they try to rock you <laughs> yeah like, like, what can you say about it other than other than the fact that it's just like it's just committing to a like if you join a PvP a PvP fed, you have to be committed to it. Yeah, I try to be committed to one fed, but I couldn't because I got all this stuff going on in my life and my feds. Oh, that's it. Yeah, the the real world takes precedent, and then your yeah. your own projects be after that. I mean, it's it's the same reason why I, again haven't thrown that many characters out there because 
I don't want to have to be like keeping check on all these discards on what I'm doing that day in each discard and having to, you know, I don't mind writing the odd promo here and there. But some of those ones where it's right, you know, write us 800 words. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> oh. It's like being back at school again. <laughs> have I you mean, seen... if they enjoy it, they enjoy it. Like, have you seen the Amino Feds, the Amino Leagues from Wrestling Amino? Not the yeah. real game one, but the actual Wrestling Amino. I've seen some of it. Them promos are like, what? Why are you talking forever, big fellow? Yeah. I mean, again, it's it's... For me, I try and keep it short and sweet on any W. Yeah. I'm looking at a new way of displaying the text because that's the big thing to make it big and readable. It takes up a lot of space. And it you know, the time of it, it's like it kind of lingers around for a bit. It seems not not as real time as the promo would be. So I'm trying to figure a way around that. I'm thinking of having the writing come down on the right hand side instead. But yeah, I mean, I again, th- those kind of I I, I don't know because I don't I am delved into them too much. But yeah, the PvP ones seem like a good idea. But when someone wants to win and they're clearly better at the game than you, they can win when they want to. And then it's not about you know the best character; it's about who's better at the game. Basically, that's that's all it is. Whereas, yeah, my my approach to it is. You know, how would these two characters collide? What would make for, you know, essentially good TV? (laughs) That's the way I look at it. And, like, I'm probably going to get blasted for saying this about, like, my friend. But some of the stuff from the other feds is just, like, especially if you're in a fire pro fed, you know, in Fire Pro, you could tamper with the CPU's logic. Not the game logic, but the actual character's logic. Yeah. To make them look amazing. Sometimes people don't really see the CPU logic as anything, and they just want to see them win and not actually give a good match. Like, I'm yeah. going to be honest with you. Tell it. Yeah. Tell it. It takes you out of it a bit. Yeah, and like, my friend want to look, want to find some worth want to find some work ethnic wrestling shows but like a lot of these shows they try so hard but they just some of the stuff get boring at times yeah so and again it's 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 a hard thing to try and beat with these with these games because they all have the limitations in some way and so you don't just want people to be watching the same old thing over and over again yeah and, like, when I watch some other feds, whether it's 2K or Fire Pro, it's just, like, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, you have this cool-ass character, but he lost in, like, nine minutes. Yeah. Shit. I could give you an example. With Kano and the other promotion of WCC, he, he, he had to defend his title against a number one contender named Kaiju. I was expecting either my character's going to lose because half of the rosters are are just borderline crazy. Like, not in, like, mental crazy. I'm talking about, like, their their character is freaking insane. Yeah. And, 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 and I want to see a back-and-forth match. Like, back-and-forth, like, 17-minute match. Yeah. Or 15-minute match because how I made my character is, like, I, I made him long-winded... I don't know what type of printed it is, but like he could go for like go for broke, go for like fifteen minute, seventeen minute, twenty minute match. Yeah, he's got good cardio and good uh, yeah. stamina. Yeah. Tell me why my character beat this dude in five minutes and eight seconds. <laughs> I oh. was disappointed. I wanted to see a long match. The other character's not as good as you expected. <laughs> <laughs> it's either that or it's just the fact that like. I, I don't want to blame the mods because you can't mod the game, but like, it's just so off. Yeah, and again, that's that's happened to me where, you know, you've got this guy and for the entire intro, especially when we did it live, you, for the entire intro, you're building him up because he's the good guy and he's this 
amazing star that you're booking as the next world champion and then someone just choke slams him and it's over one, two, three. And you're just like, oh well, that kind of ruins everything yeah. that we just said there. <laughs> yeah. And again, right. this is with the editing thing now. If it if I have a match that happens like that, I either if I can think of a way to work around it, I'll keep it in. If I can't, it gets deleted now. That's the one good side to it. I can just kind of try again. But again, when you get to the five or six rematches and it's still not working, you still have to try and find a way around it. For my, I have to restart some matches on 2K just to get a good one. I just wish if there, if there is another 2K, because people are saying that 2K21 might be cancelled. Well, yeah, because of the poorness of 20. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I reckon there'll still be a wrestling game by WWE. It's just who's it going one. to, yeah. It's just who's going to take over now. Yeah, because some people left two K and all that stuff. So yeah. it's like the state of your game, my guy. You are literally wasting so much potential. They need to go back to two K nineteen and go right. What can we add to this? Because that's what all I wanted from two K twenty. <laughs> yeah, just a better version of 2K19 you know like a GM mode added in so you could choose who wins in a match you know because you can simulate it and choose who wins so why can't you choose who wins before you watch it that would be interesting yeah I mean I always wanted that because I wouldn't do it for every match but again for those important matches where it really works for that person to win or that person to lose you could choose it and again, I kind of hoped you'd have that in the rivalry system, but that's just never worked <laughs> the way I've wanted it to. You see, we get the same three cutscenes over and over again. <laughs> yeah. The same damn cutscenes, the same everything. It's just yeah. so... That's why I've had to go into the, the video part of it and cut bits out of that and edit that into the show because you can actually choose which cutscene then and there's loads of them and it's like, I've never seen any of these in the game. Where have all these been hiding? How do you get to those in the rivalry system? So it's like, I've had to edit them in but then again, it's all the extra editing because you've got to throw all the crowd noise and things like that back in because it doesn't have that on that video thing. If only, yeah. like, the game... Like, like I'm a game developer too, but I do all my spare time. Yeah. And like I know when like when there's opportunities missed because the highlight reel can be just easily add crowd sounds instead of just getting the damn crowd sounds from damn YouTube and shit and then putting the damn thing. And like they need to bring back story creator. I swear they really do. Yeah. Because that's where all the good stuff's at. Yeah, but like no, all the no little way. things like that. I mean, it it took them how many games to add a proper backstage parking lot and things like that back in, and even then, it's still not quite how it was in SmackDown Two. I always go back to SmackDown Two as sort of my. It was my. I mean, I had SmackDown, but SmackDown Two was sort of the the favorite childhood game I ever had. And I always think there's still so much missing from that because you could even have interviews in that where Michael Cole was talking to your character, and it's like, why couldn't you have that in so we could edit that to how we want it, and things like that. <sighs> Shake it my it's, head. Yes, yeah, it's, it's so frustrating, because it's like, you, we know you can do it, you've done it in the past, why do you take these things out and throw things in that we don't want, like lollipops? <laughs> <laughs> it's like... They try to be original, but they can't be original because you can't satisfy everybody. Yeah, and again, I, I know that I'm not their target audience. I've, I've accepted that, you know, it's people a lot younger than me that just want to play a wrestling game and beat people up. But why is that? I, I mean, I, I've been amazed over the past few years how many actual, you know, how many people are in these communities on e e in It's absolutely incredible how many people there are out there. So why is there not a game focused on them that allows you to do this and still has an entertaining match to watch? I mean, Fire Pro's pretty good for it from what I've 
I've seen for all the stuff you can do. But again, that's mods. It's mods, but hey, you could literally green screen the damn game. Yeah, with the mod. I mean, at least so it's like you could put them in any different scenario. Hell, I know this one fit C A W F. They green screen their um their stuff, and they have the hardcore title twenty four seven. Yeah, and they you know do their green screen for a video. They green screen it, and they do the, and just do random pins, backstage bra segments. Same with C R Fire Pro, another freaking good fit. Yeah, do their green screen without mods. They just green screen. Well, they just Put the ring green, yeah. Uh, that stuff. That is quite cool. It is cool. But like, but like but the thing is, it, 2K, they could do that. They just yeah. don't want to do it. No. And it, again, in the video thing, you can take backgrounds off, which is where I've gone into green screen in certain bits of it. But even then, it's not perfect. And if someone's wearing a black leather jacket, it clips out and things right. like that. So to deal away with that for promos for the time being, I already put in the first promo, oh, they've put us in front of a green screen. So it's had that use, but yeah, you couldn't re it'd be a lot of effort to edit out a hallway and put them running in a field or something like that, you know. Yeah. Just again, very limiting. Two K's limited, Fire Pro's limited, any other wrestling games limited. And like <sighs> They need it. Like, I, I keep saying this. 2020 is going to be the year of the EFIDs because I believe that something's going to change and everybody's going to be just on eyes on certain products. Oh, yeah. I think the creativity and things like that in, in this community, even for from a real-world wrestling standpoint, must you know, there must be something in there that they can look at and be like, that, that's really cool. I'd like to think so, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. That's good. And, like, we just need to be original. We just need to have good storylines, and we just need to literally make sense of the damn match. Yeah. Some matches, <laughs> some matches do not make any sense. You do a rainbow cutter and just pick the motherfucker up and not go for yeah. that. I'm like, yeah. you dumb bitch. <laughs> and like, I'll be honest with you, when I watch some other feds, I'm just like, you literally did this power move. You bench press the motherfucker out and throw him out the ring and it's a false cut anywhere match. Go for the pin, you dummy. Yeah. And that's me screaming at the TV and thing. having anxieties. Yeah. And it's fine having, you know, the one one or two unhinged guys in your federation that do that. But then after a while, people have to be fearful of having a match knowing what they're getting into. You know, you've got to think about those kind of things. For me, anyway, you know. Again, some people just seem to throw whatever <laughs> whatever they can into the, the mix and see what comes out. Yeah. And, like... When I was on Twitter and I was looking at some call feds and stuff like that, it's like I'm pull one up. It's like the fact that like you will have wait now now I got something to say. There was a um fed that's that's not a fed but a game show for calls which was actually pretty unique. Huh. It's called Pat Pat Charming's Charm School. It's basically like it's basically like the old school NXT when, when it was a game show. You like you do this, and if you lose, you have a match against the losers, and whoever gets pinned is out of the game. Ah, uh, that's quite cool. It is cool. It's just the fact that if I wanted to join in on that, I will fail automatically. <laughs> Cause so many people make their attires look cool, but they but they look like shit in the ring. <laughs> and like you can have a bomb ass attire, but you still some garbage. 
that's that's kind of out of topic, but like the thing is, is that like this game show I I see, it's actually pretty cool. My little issue is that like, it's too much like the old school NXT, and you kind of asking for too much. <laughs> yeah, like make your tire look like this, make your tire look like that. Here's the topic of the day. Yeah, very. Like yeah. I, I've I've seen a lot where it's like you know. You've got this, you know, the, there's this time limit before you can get stuff in and, you know, fair enough deadlines to get stuff edited and things like that. But then it's it's like, you know, you've got two days and it's like, wait, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't come up with my, you know, my character's reasoning to go into this match within two days. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I know I'm bad for it. It's like, all of a sudden, I'll be like, right, I want to do some editing. <laughs> and get impatient and just move on. But, you know, if it's something really important, I usually go over with people quite a few times. Like, kind of get an idea of what they're thinking to begin with before they even write the promo up. So at least I can get a direction. Yeah. Uh, like, when it comes down to promos... Some promos be like on topic, then out of topic at the same time. Like, it, like it got so like for me when I did my promo for um WCC, like it was one promo, like it was a back and forth between me and the other dude. Then I then it was <laughs> then I put up a a um a image right because I was because somebody came out the cut started talking trash about me. And then I put up an image of Minoru Suzuki saying, shut up, I hope you go outside and get hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> My character could be evil. <laughs> but then... <laughs> it was just... I swear, sometimes when you go to do a promo, you could be an asshole, but... <laughs> There's some lines that you cannot say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <sighs> when I see these yeah, call I mean, promos, it's just like, the promos be like wild and the promos be like boring. Some of them are yeah, good and some of them are boring. That That's one with NEW. I don't want people to be afraid to cut a heel promo, you know, as long as, you know, they understand it's nothing personal and it doesn't go too far within, you know, certain acceptable things nowadays. And, you know, which is fair enough. And, um, but, yeah, you, the promos, like, um, I, I love writing the one club for Running Pro, because Charlie Braddock's that kind of guy who's, he is an asshole, you know, and I love writing for it, because it's so funny. I, I just, like, I have such a fun time writing for them once. Yeah, writing promos is fun. It's just the fact that, like, if it's your main character promo and you're in this fed that's basically, like, they don't want you to say certain things and you're a heel and you're trying to be like, and you're trying to be like MJF or something like that. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Like, You've got to push you boundaries with people like MJF. There's got to be certain things, you know. He, he's got to be insulting. That's part of his character. I, I, I kind of said that. Uh, you know, when I first sent one off for for Ron in Pro, I was like, you know, n none of this is personal. This is just exactly, you know, this is just what he would say in that situation. <laughs> yeah. And, like, I wanted to, like, cut a, um, what was one promo? I, 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 like, there was some promos I want to do, but I can't do it because I'm afraid I'm going to get blasted. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, I just want, I just want to sound like a, like a psychotic person. Sound like something like a, something like an old school John Moxley when, when he was um in CZW or something like that. Yeah. But, and, and it's just. Again, I, th I think that's something real wrestlers struggle with, you know, WWE. It's very scripted. There's certain things they can't say. They barely get a choice on what they can say from from what we understand nowadays. And yeah. it's like, I, I don't know, I'd want to be in a more creative atmosphere where you get a bit of control over 
what's coming out of your mouth. At least, you know, bullet points maybe, but... Yeah, bullet points I'm, I'm okay with. Scripting my whole thing, I'm not good with. Yeah, exactly. You've got to let you be you. <laughs> yeah, because... Because, like, some people have, like, potential. But they just dead on arrival once they start you know cutting promo and then everything went to shit yeah <laughs> and like one thing i wanted to do is that like with my characters that i send out i need to keep a with troy blackwell i swear to god this motherfuckers <laughs> <sighs> for people who don't know troy blackwell he's one of my calls and um he's like a joy Janella. so Retro wave, retro wave music, and just a complete, utter mess of a person. I tried to play as him, but the thing is, it's just like, I'm in these call feds, and I don't feel like I'm getting booked at all because I'm not being active, because they should have a Twitter, I mean, a um Discord, then a Twitter group chat. God bless Discord, because without Discord, there wouldn't be no you know, organization. Yeah, Discord seems to be the main way that people communicate nowadays, and they just drop po- promos on Twitter. Promos on Twitter are just freaking, like, you limited, my guy. <laughs> yeah. Like, what, like, if I want to cut a promo as one of my main characters, it will not be on Twitter. It will be on Discord or to the boss so he could put it in the show. But it's yeah. fun cutting promos on other people because it's just be funny. You could just troll with them and play with them. Yeah, I mean, I, I like that. I like the extra additions that Twitter brings. I mean, in between shows, you get a lot of sort of build between people when matches get announced and stuff like that. Also, the, also um, I don't know about this. One of like, I was going to, like, um, like, one of my promos I did was watch it kind of wild. Like, it was me, me and this person. We was, you know, talking trash to each other. Then my character ended up doing a Brock Lesnar, Kurt Angle kiss moment, and that was, that threw him off all the way (laughs) to the walls. Just the best thing ever. Yeah. (laughs) Like, you can mess people's minds and stuff like that with promos. That's the best thing about it. Well, I don't know, because my sister just got home. She's 10 years old, and she can come in and out the freaking room. So, <laughs> it's like, how I put this? You love your people, but at the same time, you want to be doing what you want to do. But you can't do it because interruptions from your yeah. siblings. <laughs> so maybe we could talk again, like oh, yeah, part two or something like that, because there's a lot of things I kind of want to know about, well, want to say about the car c- community with with somebody who is actually in the car community. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a lot of fun, and yeah. again, yeah, there's there's plenty more to talk about. It's yeah, so much out there. <laughs> there's a lot of things out there. Like for example, I'm also running a MMA promotion called Coliseum. I have to tweak the, all the characters because apparently doing a clap kick, like kick to the face by the person on the ground, is is he is illegal <laughs> in MMA? So yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it, but yeah, this this has been fun. This was fun. So, for, so I'll make sure I, I put your um. What the hell am I doing? I'm gonna make sure I put your YouTube channel in the description below, so people can like follow you and check out your stuff. Awesome. Let me get my freaking notepad of list of feds. Because I'm starting to do that now. Also, you in the 
you're in the wrestling Viv per game universe amino, right? Yeah. But because good place. They just need oh, more really? like motherfucking um they need more love because Yeah. They literally are like besides the wrestling amino, the wrestling amino is kinda toxic. <laughs> And kind of boring for a moment because of all the damn promos that take like 30 minutes to, to freaking read. But for those who like wrestling video games, check out the Amino. And the best thing about the Amino is that they got so many feds from old school games, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm... New Extremes is slowly uploading its entire back catalog on there. <laughs> so weekly, there's a, well, pretty much weekly anyway, there's a, a link to one of our old shows as I keep adding them to our own Amino, which I'm trying to keep as a wiki for all our roster and things like that. Yeah. Like, because again, I'd love to see like a, a universal roster. I mean, we've discussed that before. Of of all the involved wrestlers, like where they're promoted at and things like that, what shows they're involved on. Like a catalog of wrestlers that is in yeah. the system. Which again is kind of that WVGU kind of thing, you know, that whole database. <laughs> there need, need to be a database of it. That'd be kind of cool. Because, like, I was thinking one person. That is going to do a wrestling video game amino championship belt for whoever holds the belt is the champion of the amino, which would be kind of funny. <laughs> that would be cool. That would be dope. All right, man. About to end this podcast because I now I need to figure out what the hell. I need to figure out what I'm going to do for my next episode and. What the hell I'm going to do with this football game I got? <laughs> yeah, I'm either going to get to editing or flying through space. I haven't quite decided yet. Yeah. All right, man. This was fun talking to you. Yeah, thanks. We, we might have a part two of this maybe soon. I don't know. There's a whole lot of things <laughs> to talk about in the car community, in the EFA community, and all that stuff. So, yeah. And I just realized this on Valentine's Day, which is actually kind of perfect because it's Valentine's Day. Yeah, we're showing the love. Showing the love <laughs> of professional wrestling and all that stuff. Yeah. So, so thank you for coming on this podcast and all that stuff and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I don't want to sound like a broken record. And for everyone who watched this all the way through, Thank you, and you are mental, because we went from interview to just a complete conversation. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, if you want to be on this, if 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 you want to be on this interview or to, or, or this podcast, just talk real stuff and all that stuff. Just do what you gotta do. Follow, comment, and we can make a appointment. So, from me to you and you to me, I catch everybody on the flip side. Ciao.